January 2nd. It's pretty cold. Got down to about 31 degrees today. What's up everyone? So uh, just doing some video editing here, uh, doing a recap on our hunt. Uh, so we were unsuccessful. I'm man enough to say that. Um, but just to pretty much talk you through what happened on the video. So three deer came over, over top of the hill that we showed you at the very beginning of the uh, of the videos uh, they came through super fast so I didn't have time to set up my GoPro um, but Justin was able to pull out his uh, the brand new iPhone it just came out the one with the three lenses on it it's pretty cool the uh, image was actually pretty good on it but um so they came down and they they knew that we were there but I don't think that they could say a hundred percent so they didn't want to like take off but they definitely they knew something was up uh, they kept looking at us stomping their feet one would look down, the other one would look back up, so I didn't really have enough time to uh, get adjusted with my crossbow. Um, but as the video goes on, you can see I'm uh, walk around. Um, the one wanted to come closer to us. She came up to um, pretty much like an edge of a bank uh, to where the trail is, and um, she stood there for a while. So I clipped out, say about five minutes worth of video there. Um, and then she walked back over to the deer that was on the far right. Um, the one on the far right was the one I was shooting at because uh, she looked the biggest. Um, I went ahead and squeezed the trigger on her. Uh, you could see where she like buckled down and then took off and went back, uh, back up the hill where they came from. Um, and then from there, of course, the other ones followed. And then they stopped probably about another 20, 30 yards up on top of the hill. 
which allowed, uh, I went ahead and told Justin, um, once you see the video transition into the GoPro, where the video is like darkened, and all the deer on the far like left bottom side of the video, uh, I went ahead and told Justin, because uh, he had his muzzleloader, uh, he could make a shot through the woods, to go ahead and uh, take one, you know, if you could. Um, now, once we went out there and, uh, yes, there he is taking a shot right there. Um, once we done, went out there, we got my, uh, recovered my crossbow, my crossbow bolt. Um, there was no blood, no hair, nothing around it. So it was just a super clean miss. Um, and then we went up to where Justin shot at his deer and, uh, there was no blood, no hair, nothing. We even followed the trail because they kicked up a whole bunch of leaves, uh, going down cause they all pretty much followed in behind, uh, behind each other. There was nothing, um, completely walked the area. So it's not like we even like clipped them. So we were baffled. Um, after that, we turned around and we packed up. We went back to Justin's house. Um, I laid down with the crossbow, sat at 30 yards because they were about 25. So I went ahead and um, put a target up at 30 yards, squeezed the trigger on it, and I didn't even come close to the 3D target. Um, it was shooting extremely low. Um, I will say it's my fault because when I sighted it in, I was using a field point, then I switched to the practice head that came with the Rage. I'm shooting Rage hy hypodermics. I switched to the uh, practice head that came with it. And um, when I shot, when I was shooting, doing all the practicing, um, it was heading dead on, all the way out to 50 yards. Um, so I didn't even use, a, you know, the actual um, broadhead itself. So I guess that falls on me, being that, you know, I should have just wasted one and confirmed before I went out to the woods to, you know, to kill something. Uh, but now I went ahead and used the actual uh, broadhead and uh, it's hitting where it should now. So hopefully with the next video I won't miss it all. Um, completely feel like a noob on that, but hey, lessons learned. Um, now as for the muzzleloader, um, I do have a picture. I'll post it up on Instagram uh, if y'all want to go take a look at it. Uh, Justin's muzzleloader was hitting probably about nine inches, eight, nine inches off to the right. Um, and then the, you know, the bullets, you know, at each shot started walking itself, you know, to the left because we were going ahead and making adjustments on the scope. But um, partially our fault on that because we didn't, uh, you know, confirm it. It was good from last season. We never touched it. Um, you know, it's not like we, you know, bumped the scope or anything. We literally came from hunting last year put it into the gun safe, pulled it back out, you know, this season, this was the first shot that we made and obviously it was way off. So always check your weapons before you go out into the woods, uh, confirm your zero, uh, so that way you don't wound anything and uh, having to, you know, track it forever. Um, but lessons learned, we're all sighted in now. So next time we go, it will probably be, I'm trying to go this weekend. If not, then it will be rifle season. And I'll go ahead and you know bring out my 30 out six, but I really want to get a crossbow kill this this season. So, um, but be on the lookout for the video coming. I'll post up on Instagram and uh, our Facebook page. Um, if you want to look for it, um, I'll post it in the description below. And I uh, appreciate the view. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, share the video. Um, definitely a lot of mistakes made, but hey, we're not all perfect. So. Y'all have a good day, and I uh, appreciate the view. And uh, like I said, like and subscribe, please. We're trying to grow this thing. Appreciate it.